we've got another like the same pick we did last year so in the uh, the same type of thing we're just looking for the best players that we can at that position and or at that at that spot regardless of position and we're just evaluating as best we can the talent are you is anybody this year <laughs> no is anything more defined this year than it was last year in terms of you know like it was pretty wide open last year is anything more defined this time around? I wouldn't say I wouldn't say so. I think this year I'm I'm really impressed with the this draft class this year. So I think last year we had we had a a small group of guys that we were looking at at our position, whereas this year we kind of we like a lot of guys around our area mm -hmm. and and we know come draft night we're we're gonna get a player that we're we're gonna be happy with for sure. Is the size of that group twice as big as it was last year? Oh, it's hard to put a number yeah. on. I would probably say, I don't know. Yeah, maybe, maybe it's more of like there. There's a definitely a level of comfort with with a, a a good number of players to where, and they're all all across the board too, position wise, to where we'll get someone that we'll be happy with for sure at twenty. It's not going to be the type of thing where we we come away just taking a guy because we have to pick. I asked Jeff this last week. Uh, you have six free agents you know there's a good chance that more than that might change. How, mu how much can you consider the context of this team uh, when drafting, especially since most of it will be yeah. to come? It's tough. I mean, it's kind of that way every season because yeah. that's one reason why the draft comes before free agency. Yeah. It's a, um, you're doing it in the dark and you have to do it with the future in mind regardless of what your current roster is or what next year's roster is going to be. And I think we the mindset we kind of approach with the draft we did it last year with Bruno too it's like we, we're not we're not we don't need them to contribute next year no matter what if we get someone that we're happy with that we see long term they'll, they'll be a contributor down the road too if they can do it right away all the better if, if they can't you know it does regardless of how many free agents we're going to have you know it, we're not looking for a replacement for those guys we're looking for uh, guys that can be roster contributors for a, for a long time. How about what did you see from today's workout? Uh, what was interesting about it? It was good. It was um, it was a little different from last week in that we had we had four bigs, so it was it was a little off balance with two guards and four bigs. So we had to do a, a little bit different of uh, the workout setup just to kind of make sure we're seeing the guys do what they're good at because we don't want to put anybody in positions where we don't get to see who they really are. So. Um, with that in mind, it was actually a really competitive workout in, in that we had a good mix of some guys that step out and shoot the ball, even like stretch four type guys, and then also um, a lot of like hard banging and, and stuff down around the rim too. So it was a, a really competitive spirited workout and I think that it was a, um, a good look at, at some of the guys that um, are definitely in the range of 20 and then also some guys that we, we have some interest in. Um, you know, if they end up going undrafted or, or just um, like for summer league and that kind of thing as well. Has Wood already put on some bulk since maybe the first time when you guys saw him the first time? Ah, uh, that's hard to tell. I mean, he's he's a he's he's a long, lanky player, and I it's, mean that, um, that's been the the thing on him is, is he's yeah gotta, he's got to add he's got to add weight he's got to add size he's gotta get yeah bigger. definitely he he needs to um, he's the type of guy he has so much talent so much raw talent that. If he if he gets his body right and he gets um, where he needs to be effective in the power forward position, he's going to be a force because he's he's so skilled. And I think one thing you kind of see with him is I don't think you'd want him to put on too much weight because he is such a with his length and his face up ability. You want him to be nimble yeah. and um, be able to face up guys and, and take them off the dribble and. I think he's, he's got to kind of find that balance where it's putting on muscle but not putting on too much bulk.